Here, let us solve problems based on RHS congruence criterion. Now here in the given figure, we have AD, BE and CF, the altitudes of the triangle ABC, they are equal. Now we need to prove that triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle. Now, let us consider the right triangles. Right triangles are nothing but the triangles which have at least one right angle. So the right triangles BEC and BFC. If you're wondering which is the right angle, here it is. Because this line is perpendicular to the side of the triangle. We have hypotenuse BC equals to hypotenuse BC. Do you know why is that? Because this is a side that is shared by two triangles. So that is common. So we have BE equals to CF. We have BE equal to CF because they are the altitudes of the bigger triangle and they have clearly told the altitudes of the triangle ABC are equal. And now, so by the right hand side criterion, we have triangle BEC congruent to triangle BFC. If I missed out one thing, that is nothing but angle F equals angle E, which is understood. That is the point of RHS criterion. So let me write here. Also, angle F equal to angle E. So these three things get us to say that triangle BEC is congruent to triangle BFC. So we have two sides at an angle equal. So this is called as the right hand side criterion. Now we are not done yet. Now because of this we can say that angle B equal to angle C. Why? Because corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. And also we have AC equal to AB. Now why is this? Because now we have angle B equal to angle C, right? We have angle B equal to angle C. Sides opposite to equal angles are also equal. That is why AC equals to AB. So this is nothing but sides opposite to equal angles are equal. So now similarly, we can prove that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle ABE. Just like how we proved BEC is congruent to BFC. So therefore, from this we have angle B equals angle A and again AC equals BC, the same reason as these. Once you prove that these two triangles are congruent, you can say that the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So now from this and this, we can clearly say that AB equals to BC because AC equals to AB and then AC equals to BC then obviously AB will be equal to BC and also we can say that it is equal to AC therefore triangle ABC is an equilateral triangle let us quickly solve another problem so here we have a figure in which LM is equal to MN and then QM equals to MR and then ML is at right angle to PQ and then MN is at right angle to PR. So all we need to do is we need to prove that PQ equals to PR. In right triangle QLM and MNR, we have hypotenuse QM equal to hypotenuse MR, which is given already. Now, also we have LM equals to MN, which is also given. Now, so, and there is also a right angle, angle L is equal to angle N. So, by the RHS criterion, we have triangle QLM congruent to triangle RNM. So when two triangles are 
congruent to each other, we can easily prove that angle Q equals to angle R. So when angle Q equals to angle R, that is nothing but corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. When Q equals to angle R, this is equal to this angle. The sides opposite, the sides opposite to the equal angles are also equal. Therefore, we have PQ is equal to PR. The reason is very important. Sides opposite to equal angles are equal. Hence proved. Quite simple, wasn't it?